हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई हार्टली वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल स्टब एंड डेवलपर्स फर्स्टली आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल दैट प्लीज इससे होम एंड बी सेफ बट यू कैन कन्वर्ट दिस करंट टाइम डिजास्टर इनटू अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव कम बैक अगेन विद अ वेरी स्पेशल टॉपिक ऑफ नोट जे सो डोंट गो एनी वेयर and watch till the end i promise you guys that you will feel much more confident as a software developer after watching this video completely so guys today i will explain you how we can use forms in node js and how we can submit the data of form in the node app using the get method using the post method and one more big thing we have to discuss how we can use multi part form data in the node js so as we all know multi part form data is used when we have to upload any file in our program so today i will explain you all these things so this is our code which we have already discussed in our previous videos so here is the route to accept the home page or domain name we can say so i will create another route to accept the get method so i will create a route app dot get then root name add user and then i have to define a callback function with the two parameters first one is request a second one is response so this is the callback method and then i will return welcome to add user using catch method so guys you can see here are similar routes add user here and add user is also here but we can see here we are taking as a get request and here we are taking at a post request so this work as a different in the row right so whenever we will post the data in our form using get method then we can simply retrieve the data in our node app using the request dot query so we will display the data which is posted using the get method below is posted data and then i will display the whatever data is submitted using the get method request dot query here i will put a command below root will accept the data which is submitted using a get method so now i will test it so i will open the postman once again as i can see i will create a new request to test add user using get and collection is the same save to first add request using get and then i will put the url so guys here i can see we are running our node program in the port 2000 as we changed in the last video so firstly i will mention the url then i will put a root name which i have defined to accept the get data add user so i will put a add user so we are receiving the data in the get method in our node program so i have just selected a method get here i will pass some parameters in parameters i will pass name that is nitin sharma and another parameter i will pass that is 
experience is equal to 10 years so here i'm using get method so i will send it and i can see welcome to add user using get method so as i define the add user root here in which we are accepting the data with a get method so i have printed in the console below is posted data and the all data which is posted using get so i will see it to the console yes here guys you can see it is showing me below is the posted data name and experience which i have posted so whenever you will post a data using get method then you can retrieve data just using request dot query and to get any specific fields which is posting a form you can simply type dot name field name whatever is posted so i will post once again so i will get a name nitin sarma so we have seen how we can post a data using get method in the node.js and how we can retrieve the same using get method so now i will explain once again how we can use post method to send and submit data so as we have already seen i'm just re receiving a root add user with a post method and guys as here i can see whenever data will be posted using get method then we will receive the data with a request dot query object but when we talk about the post method then we will receive the data using request dot body so this is the main difference between get and post in the node.js but one more thing we have already discussed that when we use the post method then one line also we have to mention app dot use url encoded extended true so it will provide that posted data in the request dot body json object as we have already discussed in the previous videos about the post request so now one more thing whenever we talk about the forms so one more thing is there that how we can upload the files and how we can use multi-part form data in the node.js so guys as we all know that we can upload the files using the post methods only because of get method providers some specific length to pass a query string but in post we can post how much data we want so today we will see how we can upload the files in the node.js so what i will do i will install a package that is multi actually guys we have a lot of packages to upload the uh, upload the files or we can say to use a multi part form data in the node.js but multi is a very good package in which with a minimal of code we can do a maximum so firstly i will install the package so i have clear my screen so i will install the package that is multi npm install multi Fun, I can save. So, guys, Multi is the package which help us to upload the files or to process the form which is posted using the multi-part form data. So, I will press enter. It will install in our first step. It may take few seconds. And in the meanwhile, we can what we can do? We can just create a directory where our files will be stored so guys i will go to the where i have defined my first project node.js that is first step so actually i have already created a directory here uploads so my all the files will be upload will be stored in the uploads folder 
you can see here is the blank you can create whatever folder name you want so i have already created so now i will check my multer is installed or not yes it has been done so guys congress multer has been installed successfully so now i will use the multer in our node app so i will require as we all know to use any package in the node.js firstly what we have to do we have to just require the package which we want to use so firstly we will require it uh, cons multa is equal to require then it's package name that is multa so i have just required the package that is multa and then i will create i will create a object that is storage which what storage will have it will it will have all the configurations which we want to use to our files to upload storage is equal to then what we have to do multa dot uh, disk storage multa dot disk storage so guys what settings we have to put here where our file will be stored in our app so firstly i will define a destination destination then function destination function in which i will pass the three parameters first one is the request then another one is the file and then another one is callback so another one is callback so this is the function so here i will do i will just execute a callback then response is null and here i will put the directory which i want to store the uploaded files so i am using directory that is uploads i have mentioned guys here dot just to go to the project directory where our project is created and then uploads another function i will create that guys as we all know that if user upload the same file again and again then when we store the file in our app then we should change the name of that uploaded file so i will add a unique parameters to keep a name uniquely so i will call another function for the file name that is file name function and then i will pass again the same parameters that is request then file then callback so firstly i will see that whatever file is uploaded and whatever details of files are uploaded so we can use accordingly and then i will call a callback function firstly i will pass the null and then file will have all the actually file object will have all the details of uploaded files like what is the field name from where the file is uploaded what is the original file name what is the mime type of file so when that's why just to show you all i have just displayed a file object console.log file so i will use the file dot field name and then i will concat plus i will concat in the hyphen i'm just concatting with a hyphen then i will use date default just to get a date time and then i will concat the extension 
path dot x name x name it's a typing mistake here it is pass dot exe name then file dot original name so guys actually multi doesn't pro uh, doesn't retrieve a file name with an extension so whenever we want to create a name of our uploaded files just to keep it a unique we have to concat extension of the same so here you can see i have used path path is not defined anywhere so path is another package is a default package so we don't need to install it we have to just define it that we are using a path so this will uh, this will help us to retrieve the file names just an extension name of file so now what i will do i will just create a object with a constructor of multi upload is equal to multi then i will pass all the options which i have used for the multi is to raise so here guys i will explain once again for the file upload what we have done till now i have just installed the package multi then i have used a default package that is path so and next what we have done we have just created a variable with all the settings of or we can say all the options of multi we want to use in our file upload so i am using this storage because of i want to store or save my files in the system directory so that's why i have used a disk storage and here i have provided a destination i have provided a destination here that where my file will be stored if suppose you want you have a different folder name because i am using uploads and you can change it according to your project needs and next what i have done i have just created a unique name by creating a file name callback function then i have displayed all the file parameters so here i will see what parameters we can use with the uploaded files just like i am using here field name and original name i am using just to get a extension and now i have created a object with a constructor of multi and here i have provided all the store options which i have already declared above so now i will use the multi in my node app to upload a file so guys multi work for us as a middleware so whenever i will upload a file it will work as a middleware so what i have to do i have to go to the post route which i have created to post some post data so here i will call a callback function or we can say a middleware when our form will be submitted then our this function will be called what this function will do this will upload the files upload dot single so here i can see when we have to upload a single file then we have to use upload dot single and if you want to upload a multiple files of same name then you have to use upload dot array and if you have a different different names then you have to use upload dot fields i will explain further so as i will use upload dot single because i will upload a single file for a testing purpose first of all then i will provide the field name what i will upload so suppose in my form my field name will be profile 
profile pixel so this is the field name which i will create in my form while uploading a pixel and upload as i have already discussed upload is the object of multi constructor it will which will use a multi functionalities so i will save the file after all changes then i will go to the postman here i can see is there any error i have to execute my program nodemon space index.js i will see if there are any errors or not is taking time no there is no error server is running on port 2000 i can check in browser as well yes it is running so now i will upload the files here i can see my uploads folder has nothing so i will upload the file now so as guys we have seen we are retrieving data in the post method so I, uh, actually i am creating a new request because it may create a confusion so i am creating a new request upload file in node.js first node.js i am just checking as a collection so i will create a different request here so i will use a post method then I will put the URL of my node app that is 127001.2000 port and then I will define the route in which I have created the file upload functionality so I will use add user in my postman so this, which, this route will be called whenever I will submit this request but before submitting the request, I have to post some parameters with a file. Uh, suppose the field name I have defined here, what field name I will post that is profile picture. So I will use a same field that is profile picture. I can see actually I will use a body. I don't want to submit with this because if it's a post request so i will submit using the body then guys we have to use a form data as we all know to submit a form using multi-part then we have to use multi-part form data so in the postman i am using multi-part form data here and then i will define the parameters which i want to post that is profile picture here i can see the options i can either write a text or i can provide a file so it will show me a browse option i will browse a file here i'm just going to my desktop if i have any file yes this file is here so i have selected the files and then i will check if the header is posted no no header is posted that is body so i will then i will guys submit the form with a profile picture I will click to the submit yes welcome to add user and here i can see i have just printed a file object in the console.log here so it is display me all the pair of parameters which we can use field name it is showing me what field name is passed then original name this is the file name which I have uploaded. This is the original file name. And it's showing me encoding. Another one is MIME type. Which is very which is very essential to validate a file uploads, which we will be see in the future. So, guys, now what I will see, I will go to the my uploads folder. Here you can see the file is uploaded. The single file is here. And this is showing me profile picture that is the field name and then hyphen is showing me a date time which i concated in the field name here i can see i have concated here which i want to use so with the help of the multi so we can upload our files very smoothly it's a very easy to easy task 
so now in future when we have to upload any files so we don't have to do nothing we have to just call a middleware to same and we want to use the uploaded files then we can access the uploaded files just choosing console.log below is uploaded file that is console judge log as we know to take any data we have to use request object and request judge file below is uploaded file so whenever i will execute my program once again it is showing me some error actually i have to rerun my program because of it is showing me experiences undefined name undefined i don't posted it so i will recall my program firstly i will stop then i will execute once again yes i will send the data once again yes so here i can see below is the uploaded files it is showing me size as well and paths as well where the file has been uploaded so i can use my uploaded file from here i will go to the upload directory yes all these three files has been uploaded so it's working fine and suppose guys you want to post some data as well with uploaded files then what we have to do suppose i am just sending a profile picture here and i want to submit name as well that is nitin sharma another one is experience 10 years so here guys i can see i am just posting two more parameters so here i can see i will rerun my program and then i will submit a request once again yes so i can see below is the uploaded files data and below is the posted data so whatever text data is submitted so i can access the data using request or body and whatever data is uploaded i can receive it by request or files so here we can see and suppose guys you don't want to upload a file in some requirements you are using the multi part form data but you don't want to use multi as a middleware so what we have to do we have to just i will make a command to this particular root i will make a command then what i have to do i have to just mention upload dot none so what it will do it will not upload any file upload dot none suppose we are using multi part form data but we are not uploading the file we are just using multi part form data for the normal text form so i will submit it yes i can see it's working fine for me below is uploaded file that is undefined because i have not uploaded any file and now another query is suppose we want to upload multiple files in a same form suppose we have a form of job profile we want to upload a resume of the candidate and we want to upload the profile pictures so we have a multiple options to upload so what we have to do with the help of multi we have to just pass multiple fields in a middleware so i will explain you how you can upload a multiple files so i will make a command once again then i will create another root that is app dot post app dot post and then whatever root name i am defining add user then a middleware function as we are using multi so multi works as a middleware so i will call a middleware function that is upload 
and we want to upload multiple files here this time we are not uploading a single file like this we are not uploading we are not uploading nothing and now we are uploading multiple files so here i will use upload dot fields upload dot fields and then i will provide all the file details here suppose i have two fields to upload first one is profile underscore pixar i will put a name here this is the name actually this is the name profile pixel is the name of field which i want to upload i will pass it as a string another name is name that is cv i'm just mentioning here cv so and next what i have to do is in the other request i have to define a callback function with a request and then response then we have to define a request and response and then this is the callback function this is the callback function so here i can see this is the root actually i have to mention a slash here app dot post slash then upload dot fields because i'm using upload dot fields because i want to upload multiple files then i have defined the name which fields we, i want to upload suppose if you have to upload almost 10 fields then what you next you have to do you have to just put a comma then you can use slashes curly braces to upload another file then this is the same thing in which we are doing from the very first step the callback function with a request and response so i will see how we can upload the files one more thing guys we have to check that when we upload the single file as here i uploaded a single file then we can access the uploaded file using request.files but we are uploading multiple files then what we have to do we can just access the files with request dot files so i will mention here below is single uploaded file and then i will copy the complete things below is multiple uploaded files here is files so here you will see it will show me undefined this time because i am uploading multiple files and it will show me the data so i will see i will create a request once again with a profile picture as already is there in the postman profile picture i will select it because this time i want to post it profile picture another field i will post that is cv i have defined because i want to upload a multiple files i will select another file to upload suppose i want to upload a same thing like i'm just checking anything in the document if i can no it is in downloads so upload products this is actually my, uh, this is a file which is created at my system so i'm just for the testing purpose i'm using this xlsx file only so you can upload a resume here as we have mentioned so i will create i i think Firstly, I will check that my node app is pro working. I will just rerun my node app just to validate is there any error or not. No error is working fine. I will submit the files. Here I can see it is showing me uploaded files. Welcome to add user. Here you can see. Welcome to add user. So here I will see in the console. So I will explain you whenever I, I started my server yes so here i started my server so you can see below is the posted data 
so it is showing me request sort body data whatever text data is submitted in the form then it is showing me under request sort body then whatever data is uploaded as i discussed already then for the uploading a single file it will show me the file details in the request dot file but when i will upload the multiple files then it will show me request dot files data here i can see here you can see here below is multiple uploaded files you can see i have mentioned in the console below is uploaded files so first one is profile picture which i am uploading and these all are the details of profile picture that whatever mime type whatever file name original file name and what type of encoding is used on that particular file and in what path the file has been uploaded with the what name and next field is cv which i use so in the cv i can see here i can see in the cv that is showing me a field name whatever field name is posted using the postman i can show you in it is showing me here you can see cv so this is the field name which is showing for me and then field name original name i selected upload products.xlsx so next it is showing me mime type this is different from the ever one because of ever with the image and this one is the xlsx file and it is showing me destination where the file is uploaded and the file name and then is that is path what at what path and what file name has been uploaded and it is showing me a size of files so here guys i will go to the directory once again yes here you can see the file is uploaded which is used for the cv and another profile picture also has been uploaded here so it is a very simple task to use a multa in our node app so guys i hope you have all have understand that how we can use form completely in our node app so with the help of get method you can create and with the help of post method you can create a form and use same and you can also use the multi part form data as well so guys if you feel any query and if you face any problem regarding the form you just comment me in the comment section i will reply you back as soon as possible as i can do so guys thank you to watch just send all and once again i will request you all that stay home and be safe thank you